Okay, so as I was saying, I'm Dr. D. I'm your instructor for this semester. And uh, this course is entirely asynchronous, which means that uh, we're not going to have any classes meeting live. Everything's going to be pre recorded. All of your assignments, everything, your labs, everything's going to be uh, really on your own, uh, except for four dates that we had programmed already, and they were announced in the class schedule and the course schedule for the uh, uh, registration time. And so you have those dates in there. Those are dates that are set for exams. And no, the exams here don't work where you have like two days to take them in between. No, you have to be checked in at the time of the exam and take it during that time. If you have any issues with conflict or conflicts of schedule, don't worry, just talk to me. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you how we'll work, we'll work with that. But once more, those of you who've been with me before know that uh, I, I can work with you, so don't worry about it, okay? Okay, uh, those of you who don't know me, so I am uh, originally born in San Francisco. My dad was Mexican-American and my mom was Puerto Rican. So I actually grew up in Puerto Rico all the way through my college years and got my bachelor's there. Uh, married my wife, still of 42 years now, going strong. And we moved to Boston, so I, uh, well, the Boston area, I guess, where I did my PhD in biochemistry at MIT. After a few years of doing research, I actually switched careers. I left my career in science. And for many years, I worked for a church organization, international church organization, in different capacities as a minister, as an administrator. Uh, and uh, after several years, I came back to the U.S. We were, we, were, uh, we were set up in Mexico for a while. And I came back to the U.S. I lived in Irvine for 20 years. And a year ago, just a couple months before the pandemic hit, we moved to Cyprus. And the reason was I wanted to be close to, to the campus to, uh, you know, have a shorter commute. And guess what? I don't have a commute at all right now because we're all online. My commute is from my uh, dining room to my home office upstairs and down back to the family room. And that's it. Uh, okay, so I started teaching part-time in 2007 at Cypress College and Saddleback College. And after a few years, uh, Long Beach City College was kind enough to give me an opportunity to be a full-time instructor here. And uh, what can I say, guys? I love it here. I love this place. Uh, I love the student uh, people here. I, uh, you know, I, uh, I love the diversity of the student body and of the uh, faculty. We really get along really well in our department. Uh, most of the, my coworkers are younger than me, so I'm kind of like a bit of a senior guy in here, but, but I love it. And uh, I love teaching chemistry and uh, I'm very passionate about it. Now, let me tell you about that. So this is how I roll. Here's my philosophy of teaching. Information in our day and age is very accessible. So for me to simply dispense content and information doesn't do you any favors because you can pretty much Google anything you want these days. My idea is that what I can do for you is more like train the way you think. Yes, there is a lot of information out there but a lot of it is not right. And a lot of it is really not facts and not established things, but opinions and trends and you know things like that. So what I really want you to do is to develop a criteria, a set of criteria for evaluating information and uh, determining, you know, assessing how true it is. Uh, one thing you gotta remember is science it's not about establishing truth, all right? Uh, science is a process. It's a way of thinking. And, you know, what few truths we have, we don't establish them. We just observe them. What we do as, a sci as scientists is we build a way of looking at the world around us. And it's not the only one. And it's not the, always the right one. Science is not always right because science is always evolving, always changing. Like I said, science is not a collection of data. It's a process. And in that process, you look at data and you analyze it and you develop an idea for what the trends are. 
And uh, I, you can tell that I love science, right? I love it. I love science. I have a granddaughter who's now in middle school and she comes over here sometimes to do her, uh, some of her school projects. And it's, it's really cool. I love it. I love talking with her and kind of seeing, you know, her eyes kind of like, oh, wow, is that right? Uh, last week we were learning about um, the fluids and how fluids flow and that kind of stuff and how airplanes fly and that kind of stuff. She was, she was fascinated. And it's funny because I don't know much about that. I just, we just looked it up together. I just helped her to establish what was important and what was, and I'm talking too much. I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> so that's really where the course is headed. Uh, what I'm interested in is developing your, your thinking. And that's why I, I cherish the times that we can talk. So beginning next week, I will have some uh, set times uh, where I'll have a Zoom session. <coughs> you know, this is what we usually call an office hour or so. And hopefully I can meet your needs and you feel free to come over and hang out with me and ask me questions. They can be about the course. They can be about anything else. We can meet, you know, with a group of students or uh, if you need, we can go to a breakout room if you need to talk to me in private. So we'll work all that. I'm still working on the schedule. So I'll post those uh, uh, Zoom connection information let me say that again. I will post the Zoom connection information for those sessions later this week when I've finalized our schedule. Okay. Now, let me uh, show you where we roll here. I'm going to share my screen here. So let me go here to our uh, my, uh, browser. And uh, I think some people didn't realize that I put the password here in this uh, announcement that I sent out last week. So some of you might be wandering out there figuring out how do we get in? Uh, sorry. Okay, um, there are several ways of accessing our Canvas page. Of course, if you go to our Long Beach uh, City College homepage, there's a link here that goes directly to the Canvas LMS and there's a button you push there and that's how you can get into it. Another way of doing it is from the homepage also, you can go to the Viking portal and when you click in there, you'll get a login page and it'll open, it'll look like this. And when you go in and put in your credentials, it'll open to the portal. There'll be several tiles, one of which will be the Canvas one. And when you uh, click that, you'll get into our dashboard. That will look something like this. Now realize this is my instructor uh, version. So it might not look exactly like yours, but once you're in there, Go ahead and click the tile for our course, Chem 1B, Section 33873, and that will take us to our homepage, and that's our homepage there. Now, let me help you out a little bit. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to switch this view to something that looks a little more like a student view. It's not exactly the same, but it's a little closer to what you would see uh, because there's a lot of stuff here on the left that uh, it's on my page, but it's not on yours. Okay, so this is our homepage. And uh, right now it's a little crowded. There's a lot of announcements here on the right side, as well as uh, some uh, links. And uh, make sure, uh, before we, I forget, that you look at this course notifications and make sure that you have it enabled. Because what will happen is when you do that, the announcements that we post here will go into your email box and if you have the app, and by the way, let me uh, let me tell you guys, you should do this. Uh, I really want to encourage you to uh, you know put your app on your smartphone, the Canvas app, because you can get your notifications and your messages and announcements through there. Uh, okay, so make sure you do that. Okay, let's go back to our page over here. Uh, where are we? Oh, I was showing you the home page. Okay, um, the transition to online instruction forced all of these uh, academic institutions to have to implement a lot of guidelines, a lot of policies. One of them is that, of course, the information I would normally give you on a first day of class, you know, verbally with a PowerPoint or whatever, I now have to have it in here. And so some of these things that I have here are pretty dense but I need you to read through them, okay? So I, I sent you an announcement and an email to let you know what you should have done before today. One of them was to look at this homepage. 
and it links to several sections here. Uh, there's something called the Before We Begin module, the syllabus, course materials and resources, the week one activities. So make sure you do that. Also make sure you check our syllabus. And I'm gonna go through that in a few moments, but okay, here's the thing. It is very long. Like I said, we are required to put in here a lot of information that we used to simply just give out on a, you know, in the classroom. So it's very long, it's very involved. So please give yourself, you know, some time, but I need you to go through everything in here because it's very important that you understand what is expected of you. How do I grade things? Uh, what are the uh, different ways of communicating with me and all that stuff. Now, let me take us back to the homepage. And um, most of you are familiar with Canvas. And over here on the far left, there's gonna be like a whole set of icons, right? And this is called the global navigation bar. This is for the whole Canvas system. And what I think is important in there is if you need help, there is a help thing with a bunch of resources for technology, for Canvas, for everything like that, okay? That's a very important link in there. Now, the next column here is called the course navigation bar. This is specific to the course that you're viewing at this moment, which in, the, in this case is Chem 1B, all right? Now, there are two ways you can navigate our course contents. You can do it by units or topics, or you can do it by our timeline. Uh, I recommend that you follow the timeline. I'm gonna show it to you in a moment. However, let's say for example, that you're studying for the second test and you're trying to figure out, okay, when was it that we studied about equilibrium with weak acids? You might not remember what week of the semester we did that in, but you do know that that is a part of a unit that is called acids and bases. So in this dashboard here at the bottom of the homepage, I have links directly to the different units. So if you need to find just content, you can go through here and you'll find it'll be a little easier to find over here, okay? So I don't know that all of them are open right now. Some of them are still in progress. Some of them are already open, like for example, kinetics. Now, let me tell you what happens when you click one of those. When you click one of those, you're gonna end up in a module. So the way the course is organized is in modules, okay? And so I'm gonna click the modules link there on the course navigation bar, okay? And you're gonna see different things here. This is what I told you to do before today, this before we begin module. And then this course materials and resources. Please uh, make sure you go through these things, especially the textbook. Uh, there's a few extra things in there uh, that you can use that are useful for you. And uh, here is our new addition to this course this semester. We're fortunate to have a supplemental instruction program. In a few moments, I'm gonna let Jordan introduce herself and let you know about that. Now, one way of navigating the course, to me, the more productive one is on a timeline. So what I've done is I've split up the course contents in weeks. So this is week one, and then we have different things you can do there. For example, here is, uh, well, I'll talk about these later on. But I have a section here for lectures and topics for that particular week. Now, you don't have to exactly follow it this way, but let me tell you, my experience from last semester and also from the spring was that this helps students tremendously. It helps them break down the contents into small chunks. And what I give you is a suggested study plan for each week. So you can follow, you know, if you want, you can go like, okay, on this day, the suggestion is that we go to the lecture material. On this date, we do the lab. On this day, we work on homework. You know, it's a very, well, it, like I said, it's a suggested study plan, okay? And then we have the objectives, the uh, notes and the videos for all these things. And then we have a section called the assignments due this week. Now notice that you were supposed to have done this review assignment and turn it in by today. You have till midnight tonight to do it. And then we have uh, other activities that are gonna be due this week. And I'll go over those in a moment. 
And then there are assignments to work on. So these are assignments that are not due on this particular week. Some of them are gonna be due the week after or maybe two weeks later. However, one of the things that I do is to remind students that in chemistry, you can't wait till the day before a deadline to do something. You wanna be on a continuum. You wanna be working on a day-to-day -day basis. And so there's some assignments that I tell you guys, you know, it's, it'd be a good idea to start working on these assignments now rather than the day of uh, the deadline or the day before kind of thing. And then you go to week two, same thing, lectures and topics, assignments due, assignments to work on, okay? Now, as I was saying, this semester we have something new. We have a supplemental instruction program. So what I wanna do now is I'm gonna turn it over to Jordan. Jordan, if you wanna pin your image there, and I want you to introduce yourself and let the guys know what this is about, all right? I'm so excited to have Jordan here. Hi guys, my name is Jordan. Um, I'm curious, has anyone here actually been to an SI meeting? If you have, like, put a thumbs up. Cool, Daniel has. Anyone else? Cool, Hannah. All right, all right, so a few of you guys. Um, for those of you guys who don't know, it's like, um, we're gonna work on class concepts together. I'm gonna to work with Dr. DA to make worksheets that relate to class problems. And we're gonna work on them in groups. Um, this is my second semester as an SI and I've also been a chemistry tutor before. Um, I really love this position and I'm super excited to be here with you guys today. Um, a little bit about myself. I'm currently a biochemistry major at Cal State Long Beach. So if you guys are transferring or you have questions, feel free to email me and I can talk to you about the transfer process if you're curious about that as well. But um, yeah, I'll send you guys an email later this week talking about um, possible SI times that we can meet. And uh, I look forward to getting to know you guys. All right, thanks, Dr. Dia. Thank you, Jordan. And uh, I believe the plan is, um, are you gonna try to run a uh, survey to see when would be a good time for the students? What will be the preferred times for the students to have their SI sessions? Which by the way, are not gonna start till next week. Right. Um, and yeah, I'm going to send an email later this week and you guys get to pick different times and see which one's the best for you. And then whichever um, most people choose is the time that we're going to have our SI sessions. Well, I'm really excited to have Jordan. Jordan was my student in Chem 1A and Chem 1B, right, both? Uh, or was it Chem 1B only? Mm -hmm. And that was about a year ago, because I think- A year was... and a half ago, yeah. It was, it yeah. was way before, the year before the pandemic, yeah. Right, right. Cool. So uh, she knows my style. She knows what I, how I roll. And uh, let me tell you this, though, okay? Many students are hesitant to go to SI sessions or tutoring or anything like that because they sometimes feel like it's kind of like, well, you know, it, this is for people who are struggling only or I don't want to, you know, let it be known that I'm not doing well. No, 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 no. This is a really great opportunity for you to practice. There's a lot of uh, chemistry that really, and you'll see it in one of my uh, famous philosophy appetizers. I'm gonna talk about the, uh, the value of practicing a lot. And so this is a great chance to do it. Uh, so once you get that email from uh, Jordan, please make sure you respond quickly. Let her know what would be the good times to have those sessions, okay? Cool, okay. So uh, let me uh, take you through a typical week in the course and then we'll take a break and then we'll come back, okay? So let me go back to my screen here. And where were we? We were in the modules. Okay, so this is, so for example, this is week one. So let's say that you came in today, right? Um, the first thing you'll see here is something called a philosophy appetizer. Uh, you know, a lot of people are intimidated by chemistry. And so to kind of like buffer a little bit of the uh, intimidation, I usually start every week with a little, I call it a philosophy appetizer. So it's just a little talk about life. Uh, sometimes it has to do with science. Sometimes, not like it doesn't have anything to do with science, uh, but it has to do with life. And then, for example, for every week, what I do is I organize uh, the course and I give you this thing called a suggested study plan. Now you can either download it or you can preview it. Let's go ahead and preview it. Let's see if it shows a little, eh, it's kind of a little blurry, but um, 
Okay, you know what, let's do this. Let me uh, show you the actual document on a separate screen, uh, week one. So this would be week one. See, it's a little sharper here, right? So for example, what I did here is I told you, okay, these are some of the things that you would have done before today, including, as I was mentioning this, uh, you know, homework zero, right? Which is essentially a review from uh, Chem 1A. Uh, you were supposed to do that and turn it in today. And I'll show you in a moment how you do that. And then for example, uh, today you can, you could have started today studying the uh, first section here on reaction rates. And then uh, you're gonna review the kinetic lounge. That's our discussion forum. And then you would turn in homework zero by tonight. Now tomorrow, for example, I would suggest that you work on this lab techniques activity, which is gonna be due tomorrow. So essentially if we were in a real semester, we would have met for lecture. Then we would have gone to the lab and in the lab, we would, have, we would have spent the lab session essentially working on this activity. So that's why I have you turn it in right away because it's, it's like a one day kind of thing, same day kind of thing. And then let's say uh, on Wednesday, you would continue with the next section here of unit 13. Uh, there's a lab safety quiz that we're gonna post out there. Now you can see the, uh, Again, I gave you the instructions beforehand to review the lab safety guidelines. I had it over here. This is another thing that you would have done the week before, right? Reviewing the lab safety guidelines from Chem 1A. Remember the whole thing about, you know, wearing goggles and closed shoes and pouring, you know, you know acid uh, into water and not the other way around kind of thing, things like that, right? And then I believe... Uh, Thursday, you could work on the next uh, activity, which is not due yet, but we're going to have a quiz already on Thursday. So make sure you are ready for that. All right. So uh, I hope, honestly, that you take advantage of these suggested study plans and that you follow them. And then let me come back here to our uh, page. All right. So like I said, most of these files, you can either download them or preview them. And let me close this. And then next here in this thing would be the, uh, the recording from today's, uh, this session we're doing now, I'm going to have it in here, but it's probably not gonna be ready till tomorrow evening or maybe Wednesday morning. It takes a while to process because I, I have to do a few things. And then here are the objectives for this unit on chemical kinetics. And then here is where, oh, sorry, you know what I forgot? Let me see something. Uh, okay, here is the uh, link. You can download the PowerPoint notes. Now, the set that you download is not the same one that I use. It's kind of similar, but it has blanks in it. And what you do is as you watch the video of the lecture, you can fill in the blanks as you go. I find that that helps uh, retention a lot better. And then these are the first set of lectures. Now these ones I did uh, on my own. Uh, one thing I wanted to tell you is this, um, for those of you who were with me last semester, you know this, but last summer I sustained a nerve injury in my neck and affected my shoulder and arms. My left hand is still a little numb. I'm doing a lot better thanks to physical therapy and uh, just minor interventions with no surgery, uh, but I'm still a bit rough. Like right now, for example, I need to take a break because my neck is starting to get stiff and bother me. But um, when I work, I have an ergonomic chair that I use and stuff like that. However, there are some uh, lectures for which I have not been able to redo the video. So later in the semester, what you're gonna see are recordings of lectures that I did last spring before my injury. And they're a little choppy sometimes, and many times I refer to things and events that belong, you know, to a year ago. So hopefully you'll bear with me, and but you'll still be able to get uh, a good time out of those. Okay, uh, I'm going to take a break now, uh, about a five-minute break. Uh, in the meantime, if you don't mind, if you have any questions, put them on the chat box. Uh, feel free to go ahead and interact. I'm just going to pause the recording here, okay, and we're going to take a little break.